Hello everyone, Juice Bags here, and welcome to a little Tropico 5. Now, uh, Tropico 5 just released last week. Obviously the uh, fifth installment of the series. Now, I would have had a video up sooner. I actually did a video last week, but in all of about the 15 to 20 minutes of video when I uploaded it to YouTube, I instantly had like four or five copyright notices. So rather than jump through all the hoops on the copyright notices for the music for Tropico 5, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, silence out that music and add in a bit of my own, thanks to uh, Incompetech.com and Kevin McLeod. So we're going to be using some of his uh, reggae mix-ups. Let's go ahead and get started. Now we're going to, uh, for this playthrough, we're going to run through the campaign. I plan on playing Tropico 5. I really got into uh, Banished when it was available. And uh, I think I'm going to like Tropico 5 as that's, uh, you know, a little more detailed simulation game. But let's go ahead and hop on in. We've got uh, the Choosing or Changing the World campaign. And we are going to create a new dynasty. And what should we call it? Juice. Have to have something uh, Caribbean sounding. How about Jusales? Will be the name of our dynasty. And let's go ahead and hop right in. All right. Now here is our character selection and we're gonna go with a male Alonzo Agador Abel Aiden Adolfo how about Alberto Alberto now with the uh, character customization a lot of it seems to not really matter except for the skill uh, the various skills of course uh, we got celebrity cheapskate environmentalist Reduces pollution, financier, whatever, 200 annual income, a foreman, general, administrator, service building construction costs decreased by 10%, agent, text hidden rolls faster, agitator, altruist, 2,000 bonus starting money. Now that one, uh, since the game is really all about the money, that one seems very tempting. However, I am not going to take that route. Any celebrity. I think celebrity is the way to go. Foreign aid increased by 10%. It seems like that one should help out. And Caucasian. We want a Latino. We'll check out the various faces. That one looks solid. Alright, now what is our homie going to wear? Cold War. I think Dictator is uh, the natural route for my first playthrough as El Presidente. In the main color, there's got to be something orange. There we go. Tropical orange. Mango yellow. That's a little too bright. Grass green. Ocean blue. I think we're going to go with... I think Champagne is the one I like the best. Long hair, afro, corn rolls. That's bad. That's just bad. <laughs> Comb over. There we go. Let's go with the hobo look. Hair color, brunette, violet, red. It's awfully purplish for the red. Lang. Let's go with white hair. He's uh, going to be a older El Presidente, and he needs a hat. The fedora, the fedora looks hot, but I'm not going to take that route. The old baseball cap, biker helmet, cowboy. I like cowboy. A little top hat, colonial hat. I think we're going to go with the cowboy. <clears throat> it's a lovely hat selection. And what kind of accessory? Oh, we need some glasses. We got the linen. Movie star. Classy. 
Aviator, Cyclop. We're going to have to go with the Fashion. He looks just stupid enough for me to play. Fantastic. Alright. Let's get this thing started. You know those people who established dynasties so powerful that their names echo through the centuries? I'm one of them. New world. New opportunities. No limits. I'm hoping that this, this music doesn't show up as copyrighted. Ended. I couldn't void this out since it's a cutscene. Heaven, the fields reaching the horizon. So I'm gonna have to edit this portion of the clip out. Hopefully not. Or it could be a production powerhouse with chimneys reaching the sky and docks busy with all sorts of exotic goods. But we're gonna have some busy docks. You or count it on could that. be the paradise on earth. A magnet for travelers from all over the world. A place for fiesta and fun. So, See, I've got mixed emotions here. Him, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll save that for the sandbox, but, now, but I think I'm going to have to create some kind of, poor piece of land really of awesome uh, little Let's resort getaway. Shine. Yo, yo. The governor has arrived. All right. We're going to leave it at the defaults for my first playthrough here. So we got medium, medium, disasters, occasional. Let's see, do we want to uh, be on Cayo de Fortuna or Bao Bao? I think we're going to go with Cayo de Fortuna to start. And let's go ahead and get things moving here. Ah, the Caribbean. A lush and untamed land. My new home. Beautiful and full of promise. A new beginning, far from the politics of the old world. That's A what chance I'm saying. to start fresh. And do things my way. My way I'm or the highway. I'm tired of weather and rigid thinking back home. I need a change. I was appointed governor of this island. Not that anyone else wanted the job anyway. My unique approach to government will make this colony the most prosperous in the Caribbean. You huh, betcha. How hard can it be? You just need some planks, a few nails, and a trusty advisor to shout at. All right, a new dawn. Welcome to the Caribbean, Governor. What's Allow up, me to Lord introduce Oaksworth? myself, Lord Oaksworth, His Majesty's emissary to the region. So, of course, uh, Tropico Five has got the different eras, and we start off. It's uh, in the colonial era. It's basically the crown, the crown and the rebellion, or whatever. Um, of course, we are currently dedicated to the crown as they have given us this lovely lush tropical island and let's see what do we want to start off with I guess we need to pick up some quests see I like that view Greetings, so right here. old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? As Crown representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. All right. So trading is uh, a big part of the game. Of course, the more you can trade and the best trade deals you can arrange, the more cash you're going to have. And cash is king. It uh, will buy your way out of all sorts of problems. So I'm going to start off with the top licensing package, which is the buy the platinum package, which will get me some additional trading offers. It is 4,000 bucks though, so uh, quite pricey. But we got that going, so we got some docks in play, we got a teamster's office, construction office, some houses, some shacks for the uh, lower income residents, we got a corn plantation, and then of course we got the palace. And we got another quest available at the palace here. I think I'm going to want to start off pretty quickly with uh, increasing the infrastructure and get getting some trade goods out there. But let's see what this next quest is here. His Majesty needs money to build a new underwater palace. He wants you to begin growing money. I mean, one of those crops that make heaps of cash. Alright, so we need to build a sugar plantation. 
First things first, let's uh, let's get our roads lined up a little bit better here. See, I think we're gonna go. We'll just go straight out like that for now, and then want to make sure that everything is uh, kind of connected up properly. So we need to put in, we've got a plantation right now. Now I don't know if switching this one to sugar will meet the needs because it did say to build. So I'm going to go ahead and build another plantation. Uh, your building menu, of course you got all these tabs across the bottom. Uh, plantation I know is under raw resources. So that's that second tab over there. And then if you notice the arrow coming out of the front of the plantation, that signifies that that arrow needs to be attached to a road. Then of course the graph, the greener the graph, the more productivity of the plantation. We'll get that bad boy set in right there. And can I change it? Or, yeah, I can change crop now. So I'm going to go ahead and change the crop to sugar. You know, we should be in pretty good shape. We see the Teamsters are all headed out there, getting the job done as El Presidente demands. Now let's take a look and see if uh, we got any trade offers on the docks. How do we do that? Effectiveness. Oh, here we go. Trade. Let's see. Active trade routes. There are no active trade routes. Well, we better get one. See, we got corn or bananas. Wool. It looks like cotton. Well, cotton's not that far of the default price. Now, you see, when you pick the trade agreements manually, you're going to get uh, a little better price. You see, the default price on the goods is eleven hundred. You're going to get fourteen thirty for this one. Coffee, the default price is thirteen hundred, and you'll get sixteen ninety for that one. And tobacco is 1,000. You're going to get 500 or 1,500 for that one. So that one's a 50% increase. That is indeed the way to go. So let's go ahead, or, or we don't want to pick it yet. I want to get some tobacco growing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna change the crop on this first plantation to tobacco. And it's actually a, not a great. Uh, area for tobacco, huh? See, maybe I'll add a new plantation instead, as that one is, uh, it's not the best spot for tobacco, that's for darn sure. So let's see, let's get, uh, let's get some more roadways squared away here. weird it doesn't want to build right there for some reason <clears throat> that's all right now where is going to be the best route for tobacco you know what let's just uh let's get several roads in play here see I know I'm going to want to connect that one over to there and then Can do all kinds of crazy curvy roads. Let's see, we want to road right back down the back side of the palace. Just gonna end it right there for now. And is our plantation squared away? Yep, it's going. I'm going to go ahead and kick the budget up of that one. Um, of course, the more budget you spend in there, the higher the workers are paid, and the more overall productivity of that plantation. Let's see, and we got another quest. I want to get this tobacco in, though. Let's see if uh, behind... Let's see, it doesn't like going right across there, either. Let's 
Where, oh where, should we put the tobacco plantation at? Guess we could put it right out here and check, uh, check the productivity there. Let's see. Plantation tobacco. See, now that's a good tobacco growing area right here. Maybe we'll throw a tobacco plantation in just right on the back side. Back side of the palace. There we go. Now once we get that plantation built up, we're going to be able to uh, to pick up that trade agreement, which, you know, of course, we'll start bringing some cash. We're down to 600 bucks now, so we're... The cash is dropping, there's no doubt about that. Alright, so we got this plantation built. It's sugar, right? No, it's saying it's banana. What the hell? I want sugar. His Royal Majesty has there we instructed go. me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. Very nice. So, we're down to 1800 bucks, so I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, Treasury Subsidy. Although the Mandate Extension would be nice, that's a whole other year. I don't think, um, I think we're going to get a lot more opportunities, so we'll just take the cash. Technological progress is the path to autonomy, Governor. We What's need up, more Evita? scientists to think important thoughts and discover new stuff. All right. Oh, Evita Vasquez says we need a library. She's uh, she's got a very peculiar looking face. Let's see. Is this uh? Let's increase the productivity of our tobacco plant. And we've got tobacco now, so let's pick up this trade agreement. The world. We rule in secret. We are the salvation of the independence. We are the order. I'm not ready to declare independence quite yet. Let's see. Let's uh let's see if we can pick up that tobacco trade agreement. Fifteen hundred, let's add a ship. And we got old Bessie on task. Very nice. <clears throat> so now we should should start picking up some cash for the tobacco. Now we need to uh, put in a library. And where would that be? Tourism, welfare, and media research and education. There we go. And where do we want our library to be? I think. I think we should put it right next to the palace. But, let's see, how do we want the library facing? We'll have it right there, we'll have it up. Up forward facing the road here. And there we go, it actually kind of overlapped into the palace property a little bit, but I think, uh, I think it'll all be good. And that'll give us a little room behind there to, uh, to set set something else so we got the we're kicking out the the tobacco the crown sends you 64 90 appreciate it and yeah, let's see we got another quest here being able to stand on your own is a virtue I personally cherish self-sufficiency should be every country's goal all right well, Leon Kane says I need to earn 15,000 bucks and he's gonna give me 12 educated revolutionaries awesome now to declare independence the that move the world we rule we need to take a look at what our almanac happiness people politics all right now we see right now we've got 36 supporters that are loyalists we've only got eight that are revolutionaries our popular support is only 24 percent so we need to get that up before we can declare independence now obviously we're a, a ways away from clearing the old, uh, declaring independence. And we just picked up another new quest. His Majesty has one commissioned the finest architects to design his new underwater home. We need your cash crops to pay for them. 
All right, so I need to export 3,500 sugar, and my mandate will be extended by six months. So let's definitely take that one, and we've already got the sugar plantation built, so we should be exporting as we go. And I think that is actually going to do it for episode one of Tropico 5. I'm excited to see where I can go with this series. Uh, the game looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of little uh, little dark humor in the mix. And uh, I l I'm really liking what I see so far. So thanks for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, I am a Tropico nub. I haven't played any of the other games much. I did play Tropico 3 a bit. But that was about the extent of it. So uh, feel free to leave your comments, give me some tips, pointers, so on and so on below, and we'll see some more Tropico 5 coming soon. Thanks again. 5 coming soon. Thanks again.